Hello everybody, my name is Iceberg Lettuce, and today we are here in the Minecraft 1.17 snapshots where I am going to be showing off a design for a very simple player detecting skulk powered piston door that I have built. So before we get into the tutorial, let's talk about this design a little bit. So in yesterday's video, I built this design for a skulk powered piston door, which I have since realized is pretty overcomplicated for what it needs to do. You really don't need to use observers and powered rails, there are way simpler ways of doing piston doors. So that's why today I'm going to be showing off a different design that I built. So here's the design we're going to be building today. It's pretty similar to that previous design. We have a simple skulk sensor comparator system set up down here to make sure that it only fires when it hears a player walking, not when anything else happens, which runs that signal into some redstone torches which are keeping these pistons on. So when we walk near this thing and that skulk sensor activates, it will turn off those redstone torches and retract the pistons. Here's what it looks like without any of those blocks around it, this is just the bare minimum parts. You can see we have some uh, wool down here to protect the skulk sensor from interference from these sticky pistons, which isn't strictly necessary because this comparator system will not uh, retract the doors when it hears anything except for a player walking, but it will cause some delay in the skulk sensor, so I like to put this wool here, but just keep in mind you don't necessarily need that. The door will still function without it, it just might not work as quickly. Alright, so first you're going to want to decide where you want to put this door. So say you want to put it right here, over top of these two blocks. You'll need to set up a little area to build the comparator system right here. So the door is going right here, these blocks need to be like this. So first, let's do the repeaters, so you need one repeater set to two ticks, and then a repeater facing into that one set to just one tick. Then two redstone dust here, and a comparator facing this way, like that. This is where the skulk sensor will go, but we're not going to put that one in yet, so it doesn't activate while we're building this thing. Next, we need to put some blocks here, so go... This will be eight across, I believe, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you want to go two blocks out this way, three blocks out this way, and then one block this way. So we'll have two repeaters here and here, so just like this, and then redstone dust on every other block. Next, we will place a block right here with a redstone torch on top, and a block on top of that, and then a redstone dust on top of that. And we'll do the same thing on this side, so block, redstone torch, block, redstone dust. Next up, we'll put the wool in to stop the pistons from firing the skulk sensor. You don't necessarily need this, but I like to put it there. And then we will put our pistons here and here, and then the blocks for the door in the middle there. And lastly, you can add your skulk sensor right at the bottom here. Okay, so now the door part of the door has been uh, completely finished, but now we need to actually add in the outside of it to make it look a little nicer. You can do this however you want to fit in with your base or whatever you're building this in, and then you are completely done. So if we walk near this thing, it will open, and then close again, and it won't fire for anything else. So we can place down blocks and do anything like that, and it won't cause the door to open. So this was a pretty short video, I just wanted to show off a simpler design for a skulk powered piston door. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed watching, I hope you find this useful, and I'll see you next time everybody. Bye!